Welcome to BulkReefSupply.com. This is a demonstration of our granular ferric oxide, also commonly referred to as GFO. GFO is used to remove phosphate in aquariums where the levels are already too high. It is also used as a preventative measure to maintain levels that are already low. It is important to maintain low levels of phosphate because it is a major contributor to pest algae growth as well as inhibits coral growth. There are three groups of people that I recommend GFO to the most. The first is for somebody who's already battling an algae outbreak. Reducing your phosphate levels can be of tremendous help during this difficult battle. The second is for people who know full well their tank maintenance and water change schedule isn't what it should be, but simply don't have the time to increase the schedule. We all know that proper water changes and tank maintenance are the key to long-term success. However, we all have varying amounts of free time to maintenance our tank. GFO can help those who have less time maintain low nutrient levels. That said, it should not be considered a replacement for proper maintenance and water changes. The third group of people that use GFO are particularly concerned with achieving the fastest coral growth possible, as well as the best color possible. Phosphate will inhibit the calcification of your stony corals. It is also widely thought that low nutrient levels will produce the brightest colored corals. At Bulk Reef Supply, we have three different types of GFO. The first is the tiny granules that many people are familiar with. We also have the pellets, which are very similar to the granules, but have a few small advantages. And then the high capacity GFO, also known as HC. At first glance, all of the GFOs seem to be very similar and they will function very similarly with a few distinct differences. The first type of GFO is a granular product. It's what many people are familiar with via using other name brands. It's pretty much the original GFO and has proven to be an excellent performer. The second type is a pelletized product. It's very similar to the granular GFO and is made out of the same material. However, it does have a few distinct advantages. The first is it maintains a more uniform size and shape, and because of that, it contains less fines and dust. The product also contains a slightly more phosphate removing material for the same amount of volume. Lastly, it is slightly harder, so it will produce less fines when it's tumbling around in the reactor. This is our high capacity GFO. It's been very popular. It's capable of removing roughly twice as much phosphate for the same amount of volume. The main benefit to the HC product is that it is much harder than the pellets or the granules. This helps it resist attrition and the creation of fines as it continually tumbles around in your reactor, as well as reduces loss to water abrasion. There are two basic ways to use GFO in your aquarium. The first is a simple filter bag. Fill the bag with the desired GFO and then simply pull the drawstring and place in a high flow area of your sump. I find that the pellets or the HC product work the best inside of a filter bag. While the filter bag might not be the most efficient way to utilize GFO, it certainly is the easiest and it doesn't require the purchase of any equipment. You may also choose to purchase a reactor for your GFO. This is a much more efficient method at removing phosphates. You place your media in the bottom of the reactor. Water will flow through the bottom of the tube and then back up through the media. This will cause the media to tumble around on the surface, which ensures that it stays free flowing and the particles don't adhere to each other. Make sure the particles are not tumbling around too vigorously to reduce the amount of abrasion between the particles and the creation of fines. Again, I prefer using pellets or HC in a reactor. This is a new style reactor, which is called the Simplicity Reactor. It does live up to its name. It's very simple to use. Uh, you can simply slide a hose and a pump onto one side. It has some suction cups on the bottom to hold to the bottom of your sump. You can easily remove the cup and screw off the cap. Both sides have a filter screen, so you just fill the cup up with your desired media, close the cap, and replace. One thing I particularly like about this unit is the easy rinsing. Because it has a screen on both ends, you can simply take it over to the sink and rinse it out. 
you'll let the water flow through the top and it'll drain out the bottom with all the fines and dust. Because you can't see inside this unit to see how the GFO is tumbling, my preferred product with this is going to be the HC product. It is heavier and doesn't tumble as easy.